Alone, depressed at night, eating mint flavored ice cream, you'll probably end up having a good time watching this movie. Number 8 Surf's Up. Hey, it may not be the furriest movie in its visuals, but it's the furriest movie in its spirit. Number 7 Bolt. As a kid, I never liked this movie. However, as a furry, hell yes, give me this shit, I need it. In Bolt, we follow Bolt, he is the best to go. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Number six, Robin Hood. Number 5 Brother Bear This movie has so many beautiful small moments to offer, and the story is incredibly unique and interesting. The movie is about our bear-hating main character Kenai, who ends up turning into a bear himself, and have to see life through different eyes. My in real life name starts with bear, so that obviously gives this movie extra bonus points as well. The soundtrack is some of the coziest stuff that we have ever listened to, and even now, 15 years after the movie's release, it's still really beautiful. Wait, 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 b -b -b back up a moment there. What? Did you just say it's 15 years since the movie release? Um, yeah. It's been 15 years? Yep. Really? Oh, be right back, I'll just go have an existential crisis in the shower. Okay, I'll see you later. Brother Bear also has surprisingly dark moments at times, you know, almost like in The Lion King. When Number 4, Avatar. This might be a stretch, but look, the Navi people are humanized animals, right? They're not really human, but not fully animals, but they are kinda animal-like, they have the ears, they are blue, so they can be categorized as furries, right? Right? They are furries. I need to express what I feel for this movie and its universe. Before I knew about the furry fandom, I had a face in my life in which I wished to be born a Navi on the planet Pandora in my next life. I was hacking ready to join the hacking avatar fandom and make myself an avatar persona. In Navsona if you'd like. And also it's only two years until the next movie in the franchise releases, so it's almost relevant to talk about right now. I can't lie, I am dangerously hyped for Avatar 2. I know a lot of fans worry about how it's gonna hold up to its predecessor, and you know what? I worry a lot too. I worry a lot! And now it's time for some honorable mentions. Cow Gang. Hell yes, Fighting Cows. The Fox and the Hound. The cutest movie about a friendship ever made. Shrek 2. Shrek 1 was great, however, in Shrek 2 you have double the fur. Balto. This is another furry movie, you should watch it. Ice Age. Sid. Sid. And now, for the final top three furry movies. These are movies of perfection and are objectively the best furry movies ever created. It doesn't matter that you don't agree. This is official and written down in furry law, so there's nothing you can do about it. Let's go. Number three, Madagascar 2. Know what's good? Madagascar 1. Know what's even better? Madagascar 2. This movie, just this, this movie. I, I, I just, I can't. I literally can't. On a scale of 1 to 10, I can't. But I'll try. <sighs> the feels this movie gives me is out of this world. It was like having all of the 8 Harry Potter movie feels in one movie. But it's not Harry Potter, it's a movie about a lion and Africa and dancing and stuff. But Madagascar 1 was cool, but this one has a story and a soul and everything nice and it's just... <sighs> it's my entire childhood in one movie. And the music, oh my lord, the music! The music in this movie will always water our spirits and make us ascend into a different dimension. Hans Zimmer has really worked his magic into this movie, and I'll go back to Africa anytime. Meep. Number 2 The Lion King. So you know when Simba returns to the Pride Rock and then Scar blames him for killing Mufasa in front of the entire lion herd? Did anyone ever like, you, you know, seriously, why would I believe Scar over Simba? Simba was a little fucking kid when Mufasa died. How could Simba ever like, uh, uh, Sarabi? How could you believe Scar over your own child? Can't you see Simba is just being manipulated? 
You know Simba wouldn't be able to kill his own father in the age of, I don't know, two? I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. <sighs> Maybe that's just how lions work. I don't know. Well, anyways, though, it was a great movie, and I'm willing to see past this one plot bender because it has so much else to offer. It has a heartbreaking story, magical soundtrack by the legend Hans Zimmer, classical song numbers, thrilling fighting scenes, and a good chunk of humor and good vibes. We have both watched this movie over and over, and it's probably what made the both of us furries. Number one, Rocco Doggo. Didn't they expect that, eh? Or, or you know, <clears throat> maybe you did. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't that hard to do. But, but anyways, Rock Dog. We freaking enjoyed the beans out of it. There's fun and popping animations, amazing characters, and just... It's so amazing, and it... Ah, it, like, it, it felt like... It felt like listening to a Yonsei song. Or, you know, it felt almost like watching a Yonsei song. Because it's just, like... Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. This movie is just glorious, honestly. It's so perfect. And the song Glorious is incredibly glorious as well. I have listened to Glorious on all languages available and have lost count long ago and how many times it lifts in my mood while roaming the roads. I may have been a little possessed, if I'm gonna be honest, but that's just healthy. Some reviewers may not like this movie, but... This is a movie no one asked for, but we so absolutely needed. It captured our hearts and expanded our lifespan with at least 10 years. So hey, that was the only top 10 furry movie list that means something. All other lists are wrong. Thanks to Ace of Hearts folks for helping inspire us to create this video. You should really check out his top 10 as well. If you liked this video, it would be awesome if you liked and shared it, and maybe even give us a scribble. As always, thanks to Luxus Stargrave for drawing our characters, and thanks to Laffer the Fox for making the background music. We'd also like to thank Alexander James Kinroy Sunland for voicing the narrator. Hey! We appreciate it. Whoop whoop.